So here we have the cube. You need to scale down this cube along the z axis, s, z, and scale it down. Then you need to scale this cube along the x and y axis. So s and then shift z and scale it along the x and y axis in this way. Okay, so we got this kind of base at here. Then you need to add one circle and you need to give 16 words to that circle. And then go to the edit mode of that circle. Then select everything and then press F to fill the gap. And then select these words and right click connect to vertex path. Then you can select that edge and then control B add bevel on that edge. And then select everything and just scale it down as like this. Then select these words and move them along the Y axis. Then select everything and mesh symmetry rights. Then select everything and scale it down. Then select everything and E to extrude it. Then move this object along the Z axis. And then you can rotate this object into the 45 degree. Then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the minus 90 degree in this way. So you will get this kind of X symbol. Then you need to select these two objects and then press Alt X and use the Boolean operation union or you can use the bool tool also and then you can apply this boolean modifier and then you need to select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference so you will get something like this and that looks really well after that you can apply the modifier on it and then delete the cutter object okay now the task is to create the right topology then you can select these words and then right click connect vertex path and then you can select everything mesh submit rights after that you can select these interfaces Go to the object mode, first apply the scale on the object, then go to the edit mode and use the insert operation at there. Then you can select this outer border and then control B add a bevel on these edges. I have added the bevel like this and then one more time select these edges and then control B add one more bevel at there. And this time increase the shape factor up to 1 and increase the segment to 2 and adjust the bevel width at there a little bit that's look fine after that we need to create the right topology for it and that's like a task but that's not so difficult also you need to select these words and then right click connect vertex path and if you hit the control 2 then you can get the sub d modifier that's totally fine you are getting the weird result at there because we need to add support to loop cuts at there to maintain that form okay so i can add this kind of loop cut after that use your knife tool and create a cut then you need to create the supportive cuts like this Then you can select everything, mesh, submit rights. And you can see we are getting this kind of design which looks really well. Now I will take the symmetry along the z axis. So select everything, mesh and then submit rights. Take the symmetry along the z axis. And then I need to select these words and then right click connect vertex path. And you can see that looks really well. You can add more supportive loop cuts at here. Then go to the object data properties and here is the option normals and just turn off this auto smooth. And then you can add more loop cuts like this. Now I will try to create a decent looking design with it. Then select these words and move them along their respective axis. Just decrease the size add there along the x and y axis. Okay, then now the next thing is select this edge loop and then control B add a bevel on this edge loop. Then select these face loops and extrude them along the normal as like this. And then check this option offset even in this way. In this design, I have tried to refine it and I have tried to add more details in it. So I can get good results out there.
create this kind of simple and decent looking design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button, subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you want to support this channel, then you can join the membership. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.